strong people kale back here from startingstrongman.com with world sbd world strongest man 2021 final results went over the first two events of day two in my last video just had the stones left it was very tight going into the stones it was basically between tom stoltman and brian shaw for the win and it looked like Luke Stoltman and Trey Mitchell for third. But stones are wild and anything can happen. And just out of the gate, I just need to mention that uh, JF Karan has been... He, he said that he tore his left hamstring, I believe, on the first event on the yoke carry. And he ends up... Um, what was his time here? He got... All five stones in 37-17, which was good enough for fourth place in the event. That's crazy. He did he de deadlifted 10 reps, joint first. How? You know, it, it uh with a torn hamstring, etc. Picked up big points, picked up seven points in that event. Then um early on, Maxime Boudreau, who had he did very well except for the deadlift in the contest and uh, the medley. The deadlift, he got dead last. The medley, he got seventh. Other than that, Titan Turntable, he got, I think, third. Keg Toss, he tied for second with Tom. Max Log, he tied for second. Um, Maxime's a very dangerous uh, competitor. And, yeah, he ends up doing all five in... 28.63 which gives him second in the event and it bumped him up trey mitchell went against luke stoltman luke uh was unable to load the fifth stone and that really hurt him trey mitchell did five in 37.26 we thought if he did more than luke he'd end up winning but did not see maxime coming second in that event and a couple other people getting in between them and because of this um Maxime picks up enough points on Trey Mitchell to end up in third. Second year in a row, a Canadian has gotten third. This time it's Maxime. First time in a long time anyone's placed above, uh, another Canadian's placed above JF Caron at Worlds, let alone any contest, I imagine. But Maxime's a hell of an athlete. He ends up with 36.5 points on the day. Then came down to Brian Shaw versus Tom Stoltman. Who's the king of the stones? Let's decide it all right here. Whoever wins, win. Wins the whole thing. They're the world's strongest man. Fifth title versus first for Tom. Probably first of many if he gets it. And Tom just absolutely destroys it. He does five and 20.21. That is over eight seconds above second and 11 seconds better than Brian doing it in five and 31.45. And 11 seconds in a stone run is an eternity. Judging by pictures, um, Tom had done his fifth stone about the same time Brian loaded his fourth. He was about a stone ahead the whole time. Absolute domination. You know, he lost some points here on day two and then just came back uh, to really solidify his win. He ends up with 45.5 points. Brian Shaw... 42.5 and all the credit in the world to brian brian's looked a little off these past two years he's also been very busy he has you know two young boys happy father's day to brian shaw of course and i, I know how much i can't i can't imagine being a father and trying to train at this level i, I my my training has been horrible uh, since the birth of my son it's just it's just a whole different world um, he also filmed a TV show. Seems more established uh, now and not running around, not as many appearances. And he looks back to his old form. I think Brian is back to the, to the form that he could win any contest on any day. And that is great to see and that is great for Strongman. Hopefully, judging by this, it's not his last World's Strongest Man. I don't, I don't see him retiring, but we have to wait to hear from Brian on that. Maxime Boudreau, 36.5. Third place, huge congrats to Maxime. I've been messaging Maxime the last few years, um, you know, just all the time. He, he, he uh, likes to tell me how he's doing, and so I know how good he's going to do, and he surprised even, uh, uh, you know, getting third. That's huge.
congrats to Trey Mitchell, 35 points for fourth. G JF Curran, fifth place again. Last year he got third. I think this is his, what, fifth? Fifth place performance. Um, man, he just, 34 points for him. Konstantin Janashia looks uh, back on form, 32 and a half. Luke Stoltman fell hard on these last two events. I think he was in joint second, and he fell by the end of the, after the deadlift, then the stones, all the way to, it looks like, um, yeah, seventh place with 32 points. But that's, I mean, seventh and fourth, it's like, uh, a, a, you know, three point difference. It's a four and a half point different to third. Very close worlds all throughout. Everyone's so talented. Um, Adam Bishop, 27 uh, points. Bobby Thompson did not do the stones. Hopefully he's okay and it's nothing serious. I heard that he collapsed in the log and the deadlift. Definitely gave it everything he had with big performances there. But congrats on to Bobby on his first of, I believe, many. World's Strongest Man Finals, ninth place. And Athor Melstead, 20.5 for last place. Congrats on making the finals and rep someone else representing Iceland. Not Thor now, now it's Athor. we get, love to see what he does in the future. Full stone breakdown. Tom Stoltman, 5 and 20.21. Brian Shaw, I mean, okay, Maxime, 5 and 28.63. Brian Shaw, 5 and 31.45. Uh, J.F. Cron, 5, 37.17. Trey Mitchell, 5 and 37.26. Uh, then we go to... Uh, Janashia 4 and 20.81. Luke Stoltman 4 and 33.50. Uh, Adam Bishop 4 and 30.61. Athor uh, 4 and 33.65. Absolutely wild and exciting World's Strongest Man. It's going to air on CBS slash CBS Sports in I believe two weeks. And this was so exciting, I might actually just have to get cable. Um, then, of course, in the UK, over Christmas time. And, yeah, the winner got $75,000. That's up from, I believe, about $47,000 previous year. So, um, good payday for Tom Stoltman. There's sponsor bonuses. And from what I hear, you know, between SBD sponsoring this and their athletes, Tom Stoltman's a SBD athlete. He should be making over $100,000 for this win so that's you know he he absolutely deserves it since both stoltman brothers have went full-time strongman and opened their gym their training has improved tremendously and hopefully getting a big payday payday like that and everything else that comes with winning worlds allows them to continue uh to improve and you know help their gym and it's the first time anyone from scotland's ever won so big congrats to that do another wrap-up video with questions uh, tomorrow. A lot to process. Remember, these results are unofficial. All that we know for sure is that Tom won. But we'll uh, have more news coming up. And if you have any questions, I'll answer them in a video tomorrow. Put them in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on Worlds. Yes, I wish it was live-streamed as well. I know it sucks we have to wait, but who's, who's ever had more fun watching random people like me talking to a camera about nothing and refreshing a spreadsheet over and over. It's a great time of year. I'm Kale Beck. Thanks for watching.